Hello, my name is Mark Ellis from Stick and Rudder Studios, and uh, today I want to walk you through in this tutorial how to install the uh, ATC chatter clips uh, into Pilot ATC and uh, get the chatter configured in Pilot ATC. So the first thing you're going to want to do, <clears throat> if you haven't done it already, is you're going to want to download XATC chatter uh, onto your computer and um, you know, that, that, how you do that depends a little bit upon where you bought it. Um, in my example here, I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like if you purchase it uh, on the Stick and Rudder Studios website. Uh, and we use Gumroad for our uh, payment processing. So, um, you know, you would have your receipt in your email, and there should be a view content button, as you can see right here, that'll get you to the download area. Um, if you bought XATC Chatter on the explain.org store, um, you would just log into your store account and you would go to that order and they, they'd have something equivalent there for downloading the content. So in our case here, we're going to go to view content. And here it's showing me, <clears throat> you know, uh, the zip file that needs to be brought down. Uh, now, in the case of XETC Chatter, everything is all in one big 2.2 gigabyte zip file. It's pretty big. We're just going to hit download here. Um, and it will start to download it into our download folder. So this will take a few minutes to do that, and once we get it down, we'll unzip it. Okay, so now we've got the zip file down here, and you can see I have it in my downloads folder. Now we're simply going to unzip it. And uh, I happen to use 7-zip, but whatever you use for your zip utility, just go ahead and unzip it. And I'm going to unzip it right here to this uh, temporary folder. And this does take a, a little bit. It'll depend on how fast your machine is, but there's uh, over 29,000 clips we need to unpack here. So now that it's unzipped, all we need to do is we'll just double click on this temporary folder. And in here, we should have an XATC chatter folder. And if I double click one more time, this is where we're going to have uh, all of the content. Now, this this has actually got not only the clips in it, which are all in this regions folder, but it's got the user guide for XATC Chatter. It's got the the binary folders for running the plugin in Xplane, assuming for a moment that you wanted to use a standalone player. But in our case, we're going to use this with Pilot to ATC. And just as a reminder, Pilot to ATC has its own Chatter player built into it, so you don't need to use the standalone. Um, uh, player for Xplane because it just it's naturally gets done by Pilot ATC. But what we do need to do is copy all of the clips over uh, to Pilot ATC. And for a moment, let's just take a look at what this looks like. Under the Regions folder, you're going to have all the different regions. And then if we go into a region, you have under United States, you got controllers, all the different types of controllers. And here's where you've actually got, you know, all of the clips. And there they all are. So what we need to do is we need to copy the structure over to Pilot to ATC. And Pilot to ATC uses the same region structure that the XATC Chatter player does, or for that matter, even the FSATC Chatter player. So we're going to go back over here to the XATC Chatter root folder. And we're just going to right click on regions here. And we're going to do a copy. And now what we need to do is go over to where we installed Pilot to ATC. I happen to have Pilot to ATC installed on my C drive right here. We'll double click on that. Then we're going to go to Sounds. And then we're going to go to ATC Chatter. And this is where you're going to paste that Regions folder. OK, now that that uh, unzipping is finished, um, you see the structure we have is under Pilot to ATC, Sounds. XATC Chatter, and then the Regions folder. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fire up Xplane and uh, Pilot to ATC, and uh, we'll see if it all works. OK, so we have Pilot to ATC up and running, and I've got Xplane running over here on another monitor. Um, I've got the sound turned down on it, so we don't have to listen to it. 
Um, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to configure the chatter. So in the Pilot ATC UI, you're going to come over here to this config button. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to come over to the sounds tab. And what you're going to want to do here is make sure that your sound source is set to controller folders. Um, that's basically what's underneath those regions. Um, your root folder should be blank because you're going to use the default place that we put it. And if everything worked right, we actually should see the regions all populated here that have found the regions that we actually installed. So we're going to have this uh, set to United States. Uh, you're going to want to have the play chatter checkbox on. And then uh, here I've got a pause between playback here checked. And we're going to have, I got it set up for a minimum pause time of 8 seconds and a maximum pause time of 13. You probably want to have these maybe a little bit bigger than this, but I wanted them small enough so that we could pretty easily hear the chatter. We don't have to wait too long to hear it. So we'll go ahead and we'll close that. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to connect to the simulator. Okay, and then we're going to come over here. We're going to bring up the um, radio panel. So just to get over to the standby area here, you just click in this area. Hey, Rico, 43, 16. When we get underway, we're going to taxi the 33 via Juliet Foxtrot, short of one. And you can see Juliet we're... Foxtrot, short of one, Brickyard, 43, 16. That's runway 33. Three. And you can see we've got the chatter going. Uh, you may have to make sure that your volume is turned up here. To make sure that you can hear it. Sometimes I think it defaults to low and and I. Yeah, 451 cross four towers on the other side. Cross four towers on the other side, just if I want. All right, so it's working. It's playing the chatter, and uh, what I'm going to do here is just uh, disconnect so we don't have to listen to it anymore. Uh, but that's all it is to get this to work with uh, Pilot ATC, and uh, the technique is the same if you bought FS ATC chatter. The only difference is, is you would go to that regions folder that's in the FSATC chatter root folder after you've got it populated with all the clips. And again, just copy that regions folder over the right place in Pilot ATC, and you should be good to go. So thank you very much for watching this, and I hope you enjoy uh, listening to the chatter files on Pilot ATC. Thank you very much.